And given that the government only needs the Greens to get anything done, the negotiating level is somewhere between 75 and 100. All right? That's to get it through the Parliament. Well, today, I am very pleased to say that the Business Council of Australia, the same ones who turned around and said that an economic wrecking ball would be the consequences of what Shorten was suggesting in 2019. But because they wanted to get in with the new broom, they literally dropped that analysis and stood in the room while the Prime Minister ended up signing what has now become the law, the 43% of 1%. Well, they put out a report on the weekend which now says that Australia will need up to $530 billion in investment in new infrastructure, technology and skills if it is a chance of achieving a 70% reduction of 1% of the world's problems by 2035.